nature of roots of a quadratic equation. Now the general form of a quadratic equation is ax squared. This is something that you should be knowing is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero is the general form of a quadratic equation where a, b, c and are real numbers and a cannot be zero. So this is one thing that you should remember a should never be zero. If a becomes zero, what happens? This becomes a linear equation. Okay, so a should not be zero. And you also learned the, the solution, the root. This is called the root or the solution of this quadratic equation is, can be obtained by using this formula called the quadratic formula minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now in this formula, this is the most important quantity. This is a quantity. This is a number. Okay, so and this is called discriminant. So in some questions you may have this word discriminant, so that should not rattle you. This is a discriminant. Okay, discriminant. It's called a discriminant because I believe because this determines the type of roots. Okay, I'll come to that. So let's start with an example. Suppose you have got an example, say x squared. Let's make a simple example. x squared plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. So let's solve this. So we know the first thing that we need to do is find a, b, and c. So your a is 1, sorry, your a is 1, b is 2, and c is also 1. So let's find the discriminant b squared minus 4ac. So which is 2 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times 1. So my discriminant is 4 minus 4, which is 0. So let us, what does this mean? Discriminant is 0. This implies, so let me show it here. So your roots will become x is equal to, what is x? What is b? b is negative, negative, sorry, b is 2. So negative b would be negative 2 plus or minus, plus or minus square root of 0 divided by 2 times a which is 2 times 1. So x is equal to this uh, square root of 0 is 0 so this is, is negative 2 over 2 which is negative 1. So you get only one solution or only one root. So x is equal to 1. This implies you can understand uh, remember this as a rule if b squared minus 4ac which is a discriminant is equal to 0 there are there is only one root there is only one value of x that's a simple meaning that's there's only one root you need to know the maths terms or terminology roots there's only one root not roots okay and in some cases they also call repeated roots. They also call it repeated. I'm giving you the words that you should know. Repeated roots or only one root are one and the same. Now if you graph this, just to give you a graphical understanding, if you graph this quadratic equation, oops, go the other way around. So, so this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis. Now if you graph this, yeah. Okay, so let me explain this in a different way. So if you factorize this, I hope you know the factorization. This is x plus 1, the whole squared, is equal to 0. So your, if you graph it, so let me graph it. So this will look somewhat like this. Okay, so this is, this is 1. This is, sorry, this is, oh, it should go the other way around, sorry. I have to move it. It has to go the other way around. I'll show it on a graphic calculator. So this is negative 1. This is negative 1. And the graph is x squared plus 2x. So let me explain this graphically. So what is this meaning? 
what is the what is the meaning of the equation the, the meaning of this equation is for which value of x would this equation become zero so this is your y axis and this is your x axis so the question is when is this parabola becoming zero so well the parabola is becoming zero when x is negative one when x is negative one this your y value is becoming zero or this whole thing is becoming zero okay are you substitute negative one here so let me explain that if you put negative one in this equation negative one squared plus two times negative one plus one so what will happen negative one squared is one negative two or minus two plus one which is two minus two which is zero so there's only one value of uh, there's only one value which is negative one which makes this quadratic equation zero okay so let me show this on a graphic calculator if you have a graphic calculator go sorry go to graph and graph it okay so this is x don't need a bracket x squared plus 2x plus 1 if you have a graphical understanding so can you see this is your this is what i'm talking about so if you go g solve and if you find the root if you press the root at negative 1 when x is negative 1 your y is 0 or the parabola becomes or the value of this equation becomes 0 when x is negative 1 so when you got so this is something that you need to remember when your determinant is 0 there's only one root okay so now the next case okay so let me take uh, another example suppose x squared uh, plus uh, 5x uh, plus 11 uh, is equal to 0 okay so what is a so the same process a is 1 b is 5 and c is 11 so let's find the determinant b squared minus 4ac is equal to that's let's write phi squared this is phi squared so b is phi so it is phi squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times 11 which is phi 25 minus 44 and 25 minus 44 is uh, okay so 25 so this is 44 minus uh, okay so this is <laughs> my brain is not working okay so 25 minus 44 I can't think of so it's negative 19 okay I knew it was 19 but I would just wanted to confirm so let's find the use the quadratic equation so x is negative b so this is negative phi plus or minus square root of negative 19 over 2 times a which is 2 times 1 so this is negative phi plus or minus square root of negative 19 divided by 2 now this you are you have stuck a situation which you haven't encountered encountered before now square root of a negative number in real numbers is not possible okay so you cannot find the square root of a negative number why because okay so let me explain this for some of you it will be difficult say square root of 16 so square root of 16 is i hope you should know is plus or minus 4 why because 4 squared is 16 and negative 4 squared is also 16 but if someone is asking you what is square root of negative 16 there are no number which when you square it can give you negative 16 so here in real numbers no real solution or no real 
uh, are not possible in real numbers. You can't, of course, you can find square root of a negative number in complex numbers. So you can write here mathematically to be correct, no answer or no solution in real numbers. You only know real numbers when you come to year 13 in real numbers. When you come to uh, year 13, when you learn complex numbers, you will understand how to find square root of negative 16. So here we say at this, you are the dead end, and here you have to say no real roots, no real roots or ne no real roots or solution. Okay, or think in a different way. Okay, so let me explain this in a different way. <clears throat> if you square, basically, if you take any number, if you take any number, you square it and then add 5 times that number plus 11 is never going to be you think you can think of any number try to think of any number and try to put that number in this equation it is always going to be greater than 0 so let me show this in a graphical way so yeah so let me directly use calculator so go to graph and type in the equation so delete x squared plus 5x plus 11. Okay, so I need a bigger scale. Yeah, I'll make it 10 by 10 and see what happens. Yeah, so yeah, I got it. So this is what I'm meaning. So let me graph it. So yeah, your vertex a minimum. If you go to minimum, the minimum value that this equation will become is 4.75. You put any value of x in this equation, it can never go below 4.75. So this is minimum. So your vertex is minus 2.5, 4.75. So let me graph it so that you understand it graphically. So what I was saying is your parabola looks somewhat like this. This was somewhat like this. Okay. So here I know this is 11 because I hope you know why. I want you to think yourself, why is this 11? This is going to be 11. And we saw from the using the graphic calculator, this coordinate, the vertex or the minimum is negative 2.5, 4.75. That means when x is negative 2.5, you get the maximum of, or the minimum of this parabola or this you put any value, it will always be greater than 4.75. And this equation can never become zero. And that's why we are saying no real solution. Okay. And I think we'll finish off with the final. So here, let me write the general form. So this means, so let me write this. This implies if b squared minus 4ac, if b squared minus 4ac, is less than zero, this implies no real solution. This is something that you need to remember because later on there are going to be many examples of this type. Okay, using this fact, if you know this fact, or if you remember this fact, you can do many examples of excellence type. Okay, and let me finally take the last example. Say, let us say, uh, uh, if it is x squared, if it is x squared uh, plus 9x minus 2 is equal to 0. So let's again use, uh, find the determinant b squared minus 4ac. So b is 9, so this is 9 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 2. Okay, so this is 81, 81, and this is minus 4 times 1 is 1, 4 times 1 is 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, so which is 81 plus 8, which is 89. Okay, so yeah, we can say your, your root would be x is equal to negative b, which is negative 9 plus or minus square root of 89 
divided by 2 times 1, which is 2. And here, this can be written as x is equal to negative 9 plus square root of 89 divided by 2, or you can say or, or and x is equal to negative 9 plus square root of 89 divided by 2. So let's, let's find in the decimal form. So the decimal form, the answer would be, uh, let me put this in the bracket, negative 9 plus shift square root of 89 divided by 2, which is 0 0.22, neg uh, yeah, 0 0.22, so x is 0 0.22 in 2 dp. And the second value, I have to put a negative between them, minus equal, minus 9.22. So other values, minus 9.22. So here you're getting two roots. So let me graph it first, and then I'll use a calculator to show you. So this is your y axis, this is the x axis, and the parabola looks uh, minus, so this is something like this. So this point, your parabola becomes zero when x is minus 9.22, this is minus 9.22 in 2 dp, and this is 0 0.22. So let me show this on a calculator. So what was my equation? So let me, I forgot the equation, x squared plus 9x minus 2. Uh, menu graph uh, x squared plus 9x minus 2 and then graph it okay so let me make it bigger oops shift uh, i want a negative so this is fine i'll go up to minus 20. y in minus 20 so this is minus 9.22, so you g-solve root. This is minus 9.22, and if you press the replay key, 0 0.22. Okay, so yeah, finally, we'll finish off like this. If, if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, this implies there are two real roots. There are two real roots.